Hey guys, it's Christine here, and today's video is going to be on Spot's Cage. So sorry if you hear any background noises, because this video is being filmed outside. And just to let you guys know, because many of you have been asking if Spot lives outside, no, she does not live outside. I just cleaned her cage, and I like to film my videos outside because of the great lighting that the inside cannot give. So that is why you will always, or most likely, see me filming outside. And also, another side note, my video on Sephora, L'Oreal, and Shubby's death was taken down because for some reason when I uploaded it to YouTube, YouTube like cut out the audio every 20 seconds or so, so the video was really bad and weird, and I didn't notice it until like a couple days ago, so sorry about that. I still have the footage actually, I was really lucky and I still have the footage because usually right after I upload a video, I delete the footage from my phone. To clear out space but this time for some reason I didn't and I was so lucky so I will be re-editing that and uploading it again hopefully YouTube won't be weird and cut out the audio again because that has happened to me once before so I'm really sorry about that but let's get on with the cage tour so over here she has her second story and you can see that there is no ladder leading up to it because Spot can really comfortably just climb up onto here and step up here. I watched her and made sure that it was really comfortable for her to get up here and she can do it completely fine so that's why there's no ladder because it would just take up some unneeded space and Spot probably wouldn't use the ladder So anyway. up on her second story she has her dish with Hazel Hamster and Oxbow Healthy Handfuls. Right here she has this red chew cube. Here is just a chew with some wooden blocks and things on it draped down there. And then she has some willow sticks. A willow stick I got from the Binky Bunny Shed in her subscribers contest a while ago. Here is the little hay bowl that was actually chewed off from this house. A green puzzle piece loofah an apple orchard stick chew, the top of an apple carousel chew, and then part of a, what do you call it? Those, oh shoot, now I can't Okay, remember. so this is from a Nut Not Nibbler that she just completely destroyed. Okay, so we'll take a look underneath the second story. Right here she has an eco, or wild harvest log, edible log, the small one. And then right here is the bottom of a barrel roll chewer or something like that. There's another willow stick in there and another piece from the Nut Knot Nibbler. And then right there is another apple orchard stick. So I'll just show you guys what this looks like from the inside. Right over here she has this hay house. I forget what it's called. I got it from PetSmart. And then here's another hay house. And it has a little hole in the back so she can crawl through there also. Here is the top of her barrel roll chewer. Over here is just a tube roll that she's been chewing on. Here is like this loofah chew, like three ring chew that I got from PetSmart. And I think this is stripped willow. Now coming over here she has her ecotrician log that leads into this homemade stick house. And I wanted to make it like this just because it kind of is more what her like what her natural habitat would be like, sort of a little tunnel that leads down into all these little places. So this just kind of copies it a little bit, and she seems to really like it. I saw her just go in and out of that a lot, and I think she stored her food. Here's just what it looks like from behind. I don't know, you guys can't really see And it. then on top of this, she has her wooden wheel, and you can see it's just kind of on top of here. It seems to, for some reason, like stop right here, so this kind of acts as a little stopper for it so it doesn't slide off and it hasn't been sliding around too much I'm gonna keep an eye on it just to make sure that it's safe for her I do have this big tissue box that we're almost done using so once we finish that I'll probably use that since it has a wider top to it or a wider base and then over here she has a little yellow loofah then she actually has this cat toy that I found at PetSmart these seem to be a lot cheaper than the regular willow balls that they have. And I, this is, I believe, just stripped willow. I think that's what it said on the package. And this one was only 99 cents compared to, I think, two and a half dollars for a regular one. Or maybe it's three dollars. I haven't bought one in a while, so I don't know the price. But this one is a lot, lot cheaper. 
and it comes with like a little plastic ball in it so I do suggest taking that out before giving it to your hamster just so they don't chew on that and then over here she has this rock just in case it gets a little bit too hot for her but like I said I do keep spot inside the house so the house is usually a really nice cool temperature but just in case she gets a little bit hot there's just a nice little rock there so that she can lay down next to it and then over here is her water and bottle. And in this pile, she has a toilet paper tube roll, this carrot shoe, chew, a loofah, the bottom of her apple carousel chew, and this like willow Coming over stick. here, she has this woven play mat that she absolutely loves. You can see how much she's been chewing on that. This willow tunnel and this bird toy that I got in my Walmart haul. So this tunnel here leads to this playpen that I made for her. Well, not playpen, but this like little place. So right this here. is just like a little place for her to dig around. I had a little bit of KT Clean and Cozy left, so I mixed it with some wood shavings. And then I topped it off with some Kleenex that I ripped off, or that I ripped up, and then put it on top. So it's just kind of a little digging place and for actually her. right now, when I was cleaning out her cage, oops, I found these little bits of cheesy chew, um, some milk bone, and part of the Ecotrician branch, so I'm just gonna like stuff these in here so that she can have some fun time digging around and trying to find them. Oh no, somebody's already here. I'm not done. I have to stuff these in some more. Oh no. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and sorry that this video was a little bit more shaky. And that's because I lost the little tripod or the little holder that connects to my tripod so I could put my phone on it. So I had to freehand this. But yeah, here is one last overview of the cage. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys later. Bye guys. Are uh, you going to say bye too? No. No you're not. She's too tired. Alright, bye guys.